Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Star Stable with Stacy. I'm here for, with some more Idris fun. <laughs> Hopefully we can finish the circus today and look how close we are to unlocking level 14. That just means big things to come. I'm so excited. <laughs> There's so much ahead of us and I'm so excited to get there. We just need to like build this circus tent and do a few other things <laughs> and then we can unlock some new areas. It's going to be a blast and more and more players are commenting about how they are unlocking new areas and they know that I'm going to love it. So I'm even more eager to get there. So let's get started. All right, you just my friend, what do you have for us today? Welcome back to my soon-to-be-ready carnival. The fool is almost ready with the parts, so now we can get started with putting up the tent. This is going to be a fantastic carnival, you'll see. You're not going to regret helping us out, I can promise you that. Ask the fool for the things so we can get started. He will tell you what you need to do so we can get started. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> I've worked all night to get these poles ready. Everything must be perfect, says the great Idris. Now they are perfect and ready to go. Let's get started. The three central, load-bearing poles need to be put up. They have to be solid as the whole circus tent will be hanging on them. Even the smallest problem can make the whole circus tent collapse, and that would be bad. I've heard about that happening. Oh, that, that would be horrifying. <laughs> Here, take the mass and place them out in the field where they should go. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, so we can't move fast. Got it. Placing. Oh, ooh, one. Nice. Last pole. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. That is looking good, even if those are actually mass. Are they stable? Let's hope they are. Now we can go on to the next step. Ooh, two, two quests. Aha, take these five outer poles and place them in a ring around the three center poles. Watch that they don't give you splinters. Oh gosh, that's okay, fair. <laughs> yes, now we have the five pegs to stake out a ring around the ones you already put out. These are used to anchor and tighten the ropes. They need to be very secure, so be sure to knock them in hard. I'll begin to attach the ropes. Okay, so more poles and pegs. Uh, do we put the peg in the in the pole? No, I guess not. Oh, oh, it's to extend the ropes out. Okay, so this would be a peg. He's going to attach the ropes. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Okay, this should be the last pole, and it looks like we missed a peg right over there. Last peg, and we should be good to go. All right. Yes, does that mean the actual tent is next? Mm -hmm. This is continuing to look promising. Let's keep steaming. Not bad for a mere mortal. Oh God, what is he? You can almost imagine the circus now, right? I hope the fool attaches the ropes properly when you are gone. It doesn't look promising. While the fool carries on wrestling with the ropes, maybe you can put up the three flags? Here, take the flags that you picked up from the tailor earlier and run them up the three large poles. Okay, those poles, yep. I wonder what they say on them. Oh, it's just green. <laughs> oh, raise the flags, ooh, okay. Are we there yet? Almost? Yes. Oh, that's so cool. Awesome. Are they all going to be green? Ooh, this one's blue. Almost there? Nice. I like that blue is the highest. <laughs> What's this one gonna be, red? Yes. <laughs> Almost there. Excellent. That's pretty cool. Ooh, the jester moved. <laughs> Freaked me out a little bit. Hmm. Lovely, stately, magnificent. But what is the fool doing over there? Oh, mamma mia, the fool is stuck in the rope. This is embarrassing. I hope nobody sees this. He can't seem to manage even the simplest requests. Sometimes I wonder if he does things like this only for the amusement of others. <laughs> like it's his job or something. Oh, look at 
stuck in the rope. I need to take a picture with him. <laughs> okay, I definitely took a picture with him before I helped him down. <laughs> The fool has been saved. Well, I don't think anyone saw us. Now we'll just try and forget it ever happened. That goes for you too, fool. We are never going to speak about this again. No, you can't make a fool of yourself even if you are a fool. Oh, a timer. Oh, we'll never get this tent up. But we're so close. Look, the ropes are up. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Excellent. Let's see what else we can get into. Felicity has a quest for us. I believe we need to check on Summer Breeze, her horse. <laughs> Summer Breeze still doesn't want to eat or drink. Can you talk to the vet again? You can take the transporter to Steve's farm if you think it's too far. We will absolutely talk to the vet. Poor Felicity. Hey vet, we're here about Summer Breeze. <laughs> Good thing you're here. I've been reading my old notes. Oh, okay. <laughs> As I said, I've been reading my old notes and books, and I found some cases which remind me of this. It can be anything from an unusual fever to something much worse. But we shouldn't worry Felicity. Or what do you think? I, I think maybe we should do a little more research first. <laughs> Anyhow, I had a similar case a couple of years ago. I never found out what it was, so I'm not sure now either. But I have an idea about what we can do. There is a special cure, a brew, you can give to horses with unusual symptoms. I can't guarantee that it will work, but it's worth a try. Do you want to help me? Of course we do. You're a star. I need help collecting ingredients for the brew. We'll give Summer Breeze. It'll be a time-consuming task. I have to go to Felicity and Summer Breeze for a closer examination. I spoke to Elizabeth and Valedale. She's really good at mixing brews. We agreed that you can help us get a special apple. When you find it, you can give it to her. You may have visited the apple grove opposite of the Thorn Rocks. It's said that during each season there is one apple that shines like gold. Ride along and look for that apple. Hurry, time is short. Okay, so we will head to the apple grove and look for the golden apple, which we can find uh, it, the, the, it's somewhere over here that the orchard is. So we will go check it out. Okay, we're venturing into the apple grove, so I kind of want to show you guys where we are. We're right about here across from Doyle's Abbey and the Thorny Rocks. If we were to look across, you would be able to see the Thorny Rocks. And now we're going to look for the... Oh, there it is. <laughs> the golden apple. There's the thorny rocks right there. So you guys kind of get an idea of where we are. Here's the golden apple. Okay, now I think we have to deliver it to Elizabeth. Yes. So we are going to head to Valedale. We have a golden apple for you, Elizabeth. Oh, no, no. Hi, Nova. Oh, you found an apple? The vet told me you were coming. I'll use the apple as the base for the cure. Tomorrow, I'll need more help from you because I need two more ingredients. Now, however, I have to start the brew. It'll take a while. Felicity said she's extremely grateful for your help in this difficult time. Well, we will check back tomorrow and help her continue to make the brew. Moving on to the next person who is in need of our help, Mrs. Uh -huh. Holdsworth, with her bee issue. Dear Nova, it worked! They are buzzing a lot over there, and my garden is free from bees. But I'm a bit worried that they will move back to their old home, so I think it's best to destroy it. Can't you, who are sitting on a horse, examine the old nest and see that no bees are still in there? That would be so sad. <laughs> yes, it would be sad. She's very thoughtful, Mrs. Holdsworth. <laughs> Be free, I think. <laughs> oh, so the coast is clear. That's a good thing. I have to go down to the cellar and get my old baseball bat. I was really good at baseball when I was young. No strikeouts here. <laughs> Look here, you maybe think it's old-fashioned, but when I was young, this baseball bat was first class. Nowadays, everything is made of plastic or aluminum. All joking aside, should we take down the old beehive before any little bees want to move back in? Yes. Oh, and then we'll get 
a shirt. <laughs> oh, we have the bat. I wonder if we could use it on the horse. We might not be able to reach otherwise. Excellent. Stay calm. <laughs> wow, you have really strong arms, Nova. Maybe you should play baseball. I'm sure that the bees will give me good honey, and when it's ready, you have to come to me for some honey cookies and lemonade. <laughs> Until then, a nice sweater for a nice friend. A nice sweater. Let's check it out. It's got bees on it. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Holdsworth. We love it. <gasps> and <laughs> I was so worried about this shirt. We hit level 14. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> totally not paying attention. I'm way more worried about what's going on with the quest. But finally, we hit 14. That means some grand adventures await us. We have some more unlocking to do, uh, but then we will be able to do the quests that take us to Dino Valley and Golden Hills and... We have so much in store for us. Epona will be next uh, after that. And oh, it's so exciting. I'm so excited. Yay, 14. <laughs> Back at the Silverglade Equestrian Center with the gardeners, Bjorn, <laughs> still chewing on this flower. Have you seen it, Nova? What a splendidly beautiful garden that is now showing us its naked face. It is truly magical feeling, isn't it? It is going to be truly breathtaking. I simply cannot wait. Now we need to plant flowers. Flowers. And even more flowers. Ride as fast as you can over to Felix in Silverglade Village and ask if he can get some pansy seeds from him. Hurry up, Nova. We're now in the Forgotten Fields, which is appropriately named because I had completely forgotten we needed to be here today. But the iceberg is here! The iceberg pulls up to the shores of Jorvik every once in a while. It's kind of rare. It's only once, maybe twice a year. And there are seals that we can buy. Apparently there's also clothes. I've never purchased clothes. I've only gotten the seals, but they're here! It's here! And I'm so excited! So let's check it out! This is so cool. I get asked all the time. I have seals on my personal account. And I get asked all the time, where did you get the seals? And I say the iceberg and people think I'm crazy, but it's here. It's really here. It's a real thing, you guys. The iceberg. <laughs> He'll, here's the seals. Here's the guy that sells the seals. Oh, they're so adorable. Look at them. <laughs> and they sit in your saddlebag, kind of like all the other pets. Except they're seals. <laughs> and now there's a gentleman, Gundy, who also sells clothes, I think. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Let's check it out. So we've got some... It's white and aqua. Cozy trousers. I guess. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Ooh, I love the gray boots. Oh, there's black fabric but they look gray those are awesome in the teal aqua hat matching gloves a fun shirt oh a nice jacket purple exercise jacket oh that's really stunning purple exercise saddle and a purple saddle pad Ooh, green and purple reins some boots that I cannot buy I'm not high enough level Ooh, ice blue gloves. Those are adorable. Oh, a little pink hat. What's on it? Flowers? Pink outdoor helmet. Maybe it's flowers? I can't tell. A skirt. Oh, and then we have the purple leg wraps. I think we might have to get this gear. It looks adorable. It's good spring colors. Seal adoption. Oh, matching bags. Perfect. Okay, so the seals are 50 star coins each. And there's some new colors since I <laughs> bought mine. There was not this special polka dot one. <laughs> and the cool bags are pretty cool. You can get those for your Vic shillings or star coins. Oh, the blue looks really cool. Maybe we will uh, purchase the gear and then see what matches the gear. Excellent. So we've switched Opal Rain into the purple, purple gear. 
<laughs> she's still got her little pink bow on. Let's take that off because it might be throwing off the look a little bit. Now we can pick an appropriate saddlebag. I think we might have to go with the blue and white. Ooh, or gray. Ice flow. I went ahead and picked up all of the seals so that I can show you guys what they look like. You might get a better idea of how they match with the gear and in the saddlebag. We have the gray baby seal. There is... Wait, light gray? There's the dark gray baby seal. A light gray baby seal. The white seal with gray spots. I like that one a lot. We have the light brown baby seal. We have black with white spots. He looks kind of like a walrus <laughs> or killer whale. The all black baby seal. We have the one with the little hairdo, like a little, a little spiral hair. And we have the tan baby seal as well. I think my favorite is the white one with the gray spots, but how could you not love the one with the little bit of hair right here? <laughs> They're all really cute, awesome, limited. You only get them for a certain amount of time, so make sure um, you've made your way over to the iceberg to get them. We'll stick that one in there for now. He's so happy. They always look so happy. That's one of the best things. <laughs> awesome. Returning to the mainland now, we need to visit Felix about getting some seeds for flowers. Pansy seeds? Of course, no problem at all. You'll have them in an instant. <laughs> oh good. Here are the seeds, Nova. Take them over to Bjorn and Agnetha right away. Hurry. Why am I so stressed? Have you met Agnetha when she is angry? No. It is something you never want to experience, Nova. Never. <laughs> I can understand why they would be afraid of her, for sure. Did we get seeds? Yes. We have your flowers, sir. Well, seeds. I guess they're not flowers yet. <laughs> hey, Nova, did you get the seeds from Felix? Oh, he is so thoughtful. Now we need to start planting them. Finally, the glorious day. What happened? What happened to him? The glorious day has arrived. Now we will sow the seeds of our fantastic flower friends that soon will grace us with their blooms. Oh, I'm positively dizzy with excitement, Nova. This is the best day of my life. I think I might faint. Oh, and he did. <laughs> okay. You did. Oh, who, who are you? Of course, we are going to plant. Hurry up, Nova, I feel a little dizzy. I think I might need to rest a little. But please, take the seeds and plant them in the ground. <laughs> okay. Please, don't faint again. <laughs> Sorry, Opal Rain, we don't need you to plant seeds. Oh, you can see the top of the saddle now. Oh, that looks really awesome. Nice. Okay, one more. Excellent. Flowers planted, my good friend. Mm. Fantastic, Nova. It is so exciting that I might die. When are they going to bloom? I think I might explode. <laughs> He's so excited. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. It was a big, exciting episode. We got some seals from an iceberg, uh, some new gear, and we hit level 14, which means so much fun stuff is in the works for us. We have some more quest unlocking, uh, quest progression to do a little bit before we can actually get to Golden Hills Valley, but <laughs> we are on our way. It's a great start. A few episodes ago, I showed you guys a shirt that I received from some players. Myra mentioned uh, that it was her club, so I wanted to give another shout out to them. The Jolly Troopers are the ones that sent the I Heart Jorvik shirt. I don't think I mentioned it in the video and I felt so bad. I totally forgot to say the club name. <laughs> I was too excited to show off the shirt. Uh, so yes, Myra and her club. Thank you very much for the shirt. Uh, this next name I'm probably going to say wrong. <laughs> Kakaluk. Am I close? Kakaluk? Kakaluk? Sounds fun. <laughs> Got her first fjord named Baby Bell which she named after a fjord that she rode in real life, which is awesome. That's so cool. And I'm pretty jealous that you got to ride a fjord in real life. I'm super excited to get one in game. I think they're so cool. That's the next horse that I'm most excited about getting. And I'm pretty jealous that you got to ride one in real life. So that's so cool. And it's even extra special that you got to make a similar one in Star Stable. 
excellent. So thank you guys for keeping me updated on what you're up to in game and real life. I think it's awesome. And stay tuned next time. We'll do some more quests and we'll, uh, we are on the road to Golden Hills Valley. I'm super excited. It's right over there. There it is. I can almost touch it. I can see it. Almost touch it. And I hope you guys have had a blast with the iceberg. Our little seal friend is so cute. I can't get over it. <laughs> see you next time. Bye.